Hi, I'm gonna do a tutorial today on this look that hopefully I can fix on iMovie so that it looks the way it's supposed to look. And it was based off of this picture. That's from Lord of the Rings, I'm guessing. It says Return of the King. Right? Is it Lord of the Rings? Yeah, my cousin says it's Lord of the Rings. I'm gonna go with that. She's a nerd. But, yeah. It's <laughs> a beautiful Oh my god. Okay, so anyway, you want to come say hi? Hello. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Um, yeah, so it's kind of just like a really warm um, kind of look with um, a lot of golds and stuff. And then kind of a, like a rosy thing. And it's bronzed skin, kind of, for me. I don't know. But yeah. And then the blue for like the water people and the green. And I don't know what she's doing, but it looks weird. And yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. So if you want to see how I do this, keep watching. Okay, so I've already popped my lid with paint, with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and Paley Paint Pot. Because I'm weird like that. First color I'm going to use is this. It's kind of rosy, pinky, muted kind of a color. And I'm going to use this. Um, blending brush. And I'm going to place it in my crease. And bring it up. Do you hear any giggles? It's my cousin. I like that. <laughs> if you hear any snortling, it's my cousin. So then I have that. And next I'm going to take another blending brush like this one that's smaller. Or, yeah, it's narrower. And this color. This looks really natural on my skin tone, so that's why I'm using it. This is the MAC 222. And I'm going to place this in my crease. And so leaving um, room for that pinky color to show. And that one's a matte, and the pink was a satin finish, by the way. Okay, then I'm just going to take that pink again and just dust it along the edges to blend the brown out and kind of just go around this edge to kind of shape it. <laughs> and, um, what do I do next? Oh, my lid color. My lid color. <laughs> what do I do with it? Okay, next I'm going to use this color. It's like a goldy, kind of pinky kind of color. I'm going to use that on a regular flat shader brush. And there's a lot of product in this thing. And I'm going to place that on my lid. I'm gonna kind of start low so that I can kind of just blend it upwards with a little bit of pressure. A little, or a little bit of less pressure. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, next! <laughs> for the third time. Okay, next I'm going to take this color right here. Looks like that. It's watched. It's like a pink or a gold with kind of a slight pink undertone and a brush like this. I'm gonna place that on my inner corner. Sweep it inwards along the lower lash line. Bad little mother. And blend it upwards a bit. So like that. And if you don't want any of the color in this look, then you can just stop here. And it looks like that. And do eyeliner, whatever. But I am going to take a small brush like this. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Next, I'm going to take a small brush like this. And a bluish greeny kind of shimmery color. And... I'm going to place that along my lower lash line and my upper lash line. Lash line. Okay. Anyway, next I'm going to take a color that looks like this. It's like a blue with kind of a green and dark bluish purple and duochrome triochrome kind of thing going on. So this is this one and this was the last one. And I'm just going to place a tiny bit of this on my upper lash line over the green. And next. Oh, I stabbed it with my thumb. No. Okay, and next, I'm going to. Um, oh, my highlight. What did I use? I used this small brush like this. And I'm going to use. I'm gonna ah. I'm gonna use this color. It's like a warmish goldy kind of color. Kind of looks like the color I used on my lid. It's not as pink because I want it to bring a little bit of warmth to my very own and stir. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that pinky color again and just blend that with the highlight color. I'm digging this brush, yo. So it's like that. And the next I'm just going to do my eyeliner and mascara. And this is the eyeliner I'm going for. It's kind of thick and kind of messed up because I've been crying from laughter from so hard. That made sense. I've been crying from laughing so hard because of the person sitting over there. So I'm going to use the Stila Smudge Pot Eyeliner in black. You can like totally read that and that's awesome. And stuff to that effect. And then I'll show you what I use on the rest of my face. Chew. Okay. I just did my stuff thinking I was recording but I wasn't. That's okay. So basically I just bronzed my face with brown and I used uh where did I do with it? Where did I do with it? I used a little bit of this color for my blush. The one that I use for that transition y kind of color. And then I use a little bit of this color, which looks like that, but it really ends up just looking, it gives a little bit of a peach, but other than that, it's pretty much just kind of like a golden sheeny kind of color. It's very pretty. And for my highlights, I use that. It looks like that. Depending on how your skin is, that can change. So, yeah, and then for lips, I just used a kind of golden y bra lip gloss. Uh, it's Kitten from Stila, but I can't show you because my computer's in the way. So, yeah, that's it for this tutorial, and um, thanks for watching. Are you going to have your hand just pop in and out throughout the... <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, <laughs> no. Yes. No. Oh, she's good. <laughs> ah! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Were you, was that a part you weren't going to cut out? <laughs>
No, that is the part I'm going to cut out. Okay. God. Uh. I ruined the serious moment. What serious moment? I don't know. Over there. Whose phone is ringing and she blamed my curtain. Oh my god!